What up, though? You already know how it go. Smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment, you dig. Make sure y'all hit all the links in the description, man. If y'all rock with me, then rock with me. You dig, keep rocking with me. The ones that rock with me. I got much love for you, my beloveds. I appreciate all y'all, all y'all reaching out to me for advice, tuning in on my lives, so on and so forth, man. Let's get right to this video. I want to speak about um, a street organization that started uh, over in the Joy Row area, Exit 9. For you that don't know what Exit 9 is, that's from Southfield back to Spinoza Drive. Um, maybe a little bit after the freeway towards uh, um, L. George's Coney Island. But that's, you know, when you get off Southfield and, uh, and, and Joy Row, that's pretty much all Exit 9 back to damn near Telegraph. Exit 9. Um, there, there was a prominent street organization, you know, some would call a gang called RTM. It's called RTM, standing, the acronym standing for Related Through Money, right? And Related Through Money consisted of a bunch of other cliques, just like you got the Almighty's People's Nation. That's the banner that they're under, but it's a bunch of different branches to it. Um, I think some of them was called like Ball Out or Ball Hard. Um, and and a, a bunch of various other uh, small or big organizations under it. Um, a lot of people credit uh, RTM Shack from coming home from a juvenile placement and started this. He just wanted a bunch of guys to get together and get money together. I'm not saying he did start it or he didn't start it, but look, this is public information I'm telling you what it is, right? Another guy, um, he's more renowned than Shaq these days maybe because uh the rep that he built in prison or prior to prison or after prison but there's a guy named rtm mill aka michigan mill um i had him in one of my prior videos a real 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 demon i'm definitely proud of him though he's changed his life he's coming out rapping doing something positive trying to get money that way he got mama grizzly all up in the videos he's looking good iced up doing his thing and all i see him is posting on social media working hard okay so i'm not saying that he in his lifestyle but this is the guys everybody talk about this is the guy everybody talk about in prison rtm mail michigan mail michigan mail oh you was just at that joint was michigan mail there were you just at that joint you know about rtm michigan mail michigan mail this is the guy right i don't think took he started crip but he's more renowned than every other crip member even raymond washington himself okay and some credit took he, even though took he didn't start crips some credit him for start crips or, you know, where they say, try to say it was Cribs at first, then they flipped the B and turned it to a P and turned it into Cribs. Nevertheless, Raymond Washington was one of the first on the set, if not the first. <clears throat> okay? So, um, I, I, I want to read you just a bit about this indictment. And then I want to talk a little bit more about that, uh, the gang or street organization or whatever you prefer to call it. Okay? Um, five members of the Detroit Street Gang known as Related Through Money, have been indicted on racketeering charges alleging acts of violence on the city's northwest side, including around a local high school, U.S. Attorney Office said Monday. Now, this high school they're talking about, I believe, is Cody, Cody High School. And um, just to give you a little backstory, right, Joy Row had so many cliques since 2004. You know, it was Bossville Mafia. Um... You got the RTM guys came along, ball out, ball hard, I forget which one it was. Then you got Clown Squad and and and, and uh, Hit Squad, and these guys was all putting in some real, real work. Joy Roll so treacherous, right? Joy Roll X9 area so treacherous. When I drive through the, um, there with somebody, if I'm a passenger, they don't want to go down Joy Roll. My aunt is scared to go down Joy Roll because she said gun battles take place out of nowhere. I was driving with this woman, she was from the suburbs, and she said, oh, oh, no, we're not going down Joy Road. And we went 20 minutes out the way, or excuse me, 10 minutes out the way to get away from Joy Road Southfield area because it's just known for these random gun battles, robberies, so on and so, so, on and so forth. Okay. Um, back to the story. Shout out to the Detroit News for the story. Um, Brian Willard was on this also. The indictment alleges such as murders, shootings, carjackings, assaults, breaking and entering of homes and businesses and robberies and attempted robberies of jewelry stores, said U.S. Attorney Barbara L. McQuay. In a news release Monday, the indictment was a result of the collaboration of a local, state, and federal law enforcement under the Detroit One Initiative, uh, McKay said, or McQuay, excuse me. The initiative targets violent crime. The Detroit One Partnership 
has made it a priority to dismantle violent street gangs to restore peace to our neighborhoods. McQuay said, by working together with various law enforcement agencies, we are able to detect patterns and repeated crimes by the same individuals to build larger cases of several incidents. The gang known um, at RTM for short operates in Northwest Detroit, according to the release. RTM members refer to area between the Greenfield Freeway and Greenfield Road to west and east and by Plymouth and Joy Road to, uh, to the north and south, uh, also known as the Scud Zone. You'll hear that a lot, Scud Zone. They're talking about Joy Road X9 because you get scudded out over there for real, for real. And stake out their turf with violence according to the release about the indictments. The gang is active around Cody High School and a number of assault um, and acts of intimidation at the high school, the release said. The five people charged with racketeering are Deontay Matthews of Detroit, 20 years old, Brandon Owens, 19, Brandon Sims, 20 of Detroit, um, Meyer Thedford, 20 of Detroit. So these are fairly, fairly young guys, and this, if they would have been adults, they would have been also way more getting money stuff instead of the violence. But this is how I go in Detroit, man. A lot of clicks, a lot of clicks. The Detroit One Initiative is led by the Detroit Police Department and the FBI Violent Gang Task Force and includes officers from Detroit, Redford Township, Homeland Security Investigations, Michigan Department of Corrections, and Michigan State Police. As a part of the Detroit One Initiative, this collaborative investigation targeted some of the most violent criminal offenders in the Detroit area, said Paul M. Abates, special agent in charge of the FBI Detroit Field Office. As alleged in the indictment, RTM gang members has been involved with assaults and acts of intimidation in and around the high school. There's nothing more important to protecting our children and keeping our community safe from violent offenders. Um, through the Detroit One Initiative, we wage this battle on behalf of law-abiding citizens every day. Right? Nine members of the Bounty Hunter Blood Street Gang charged with official racketeering conspiracy and other violent acts of furtherance of racketeering was also around this time. 13 members of the Lack County Street Gang charged with federal racketeering conspiracy and violent acts in furtherance of racketeering also around this time. And one more, and this might surprise you, 14 members of the Phantom Outlaw Motorcycle Club Vice Lord Street Gang charged with federal racketeering conspiracy and other violent crimes. So this, this gives you a little briefing of what's going on in Detroit around these areas, man. It goes down. Um, I want to read something else to you, right? I want to read something else to you. According to the indictment, the five defendants are part of a gang that oversaw smaller gangs run by CEOs. Remember I said RTM is the banner. And wrote gang-related graffiti on buildings in their territory, including markets such as RTM the Mob or RTM the World. And they weren't secret about what they did. According to the indictment, RTM members regularly took to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube to post pictures, videos, and statements about the gang. It's members and gang-related accomplishments. The 26-page indictment listed more than 50 crime-related incidents tied to the gang, including assaults at Cody High School and shooting at McDonald's and jewelry store robberies. We'll talk about that shooting at uh, a McDonald's, a.k.a. the Murder Mac. Uh, the incident is the result of an ongoing investigation by the Detroit One Initiative and a task force that is led by the Detroit Police Department and FBI Violent Gang Task. You dig? So these guys were this young with federal indictments. Remember, remember T. Grizzly said his son, um, <clears throat> what you know about related through money, I don't know nothing. I just used to see him walk to the corner. You was watching the news. You saw them indictments. Okay. Then you know I'm stating facts. Like, this was real, 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 real trill over there. So this might show you why maybe T. Grizzy, um, you know, got a, got a little backlash from some people because they was really out here living that life. And things really went down behind that. And then you get a rapper that goes and get clout. He get he glow up, jewelry, cars, houses, and he rapping phenomenal. You know them haters going to want to put in some work, man, and get that clout off that boy body. That's just how I go all over the country. Chicago, same thing, man. Tell me what y'all think about this, man. Peace and blessings be to y'all, man. Make sure I get them links and smash them like buttons, subscribe buttons, follow buttons, so on and so forth, man. Peace.